Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. We are updating the counter. We're up to 1800 Link level units. Now, I'm actually a little bit late on this. I hit 1800 characters uh, like a full week ago or something like that, but it, things have just been very busy. Then World Tournament happened, and of course I haven't really had a chance to grind up too much during World Tournament. Um, so, okay, so we're at 1800 characters Link leveled, right? Like, I don't... We don't need to scroll through here. Like, I've got every actual character done, right? Like, we know this. Uh, what I'm link leveling these days... Let, let's take a look at my, my current link level team to show you guys. This is the... This is the type of stuff I'm link leveling right now. So, I realized... Uh-oh. I'm about to run out of characters to link level, right? So, like, if we go to go here... Right now, I'm at 2,407. Um, but I was, you know, I've added a couple hundred to this recently and I was looking at it and I was like, dude, I'm actually going to run out of characters to link level. Um, and then I was looking around, let me just pull up what, what's a super strike that we could look at. Uh, maybe like King cold. Uh, let's look at like King cold. Maybe King cold can show us what I want to show. Okay. So let's look at King cold. So we go up here, right? So we have the, the T U R for King cold, right? And then we have the SSR for King Cold. Aha, perfect. And then notice how there's that zero right there. So, like, you know, King Cold, we get him as an SR. You could Z awaken him to an SSR. Then you could Dokkan awaken him, and he becomes an SSR again. Then you Z awaken him to a UR, and then you could Dokkan awaken him to a TUR, right? It's kind of the way it's going to work with King Cold. So, what I just started to do is I'm just filling in a one for like all of this type of thing, right? So what's, let's just stay by most recently acquired. I guess we could look at like th this Beerus as an example, right? So I, you know, we've got the, uh, this is a world tournament Beerus. I've got a TUR. We have the SSR, but then I've also kept like an unawakened copy. Um, now doing it like this, you know, just trying to get like one of every like column right there. I, that's actually more characters than I even have box space, right? I won't be able, like, I have 2,960. I wouldn't even be able to hit that. So, what I'm probably, get, this might slow me down a little bit in the long run, but what I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop using, I think, the version Z Goku as my lead. And, and I think I'm just going to keep, like, at potentially, I don't know, like, what are good old types leaders? Like, I might just use, like, uh, Spirit Bomb Goku as, like, our, our LR leader. Like, like ju just, like, my Link leveling leader. I might just run this character. Um, even though, you know, he's already obviously, like, Link level 10 and stuff like that. But I, I might just leave him as my leader. And so I'll only be Link leveling five characters at a time instead of six. But that's just because I, I just see the... Uh, like, I I'm gonna run out of box space. Like, I was actually thinking about this. <clears throat> I eventually... But, okay, l listen to this. We're going to reach a point where JP players can't have as high of a power level as Global Whales, actually. Because Global has gotten way more box space. Specifically if you're a paying player, right? This was at the end of 2020. Um, Global Doe kind of made a minor mistake to where there was a bunch of... There's like the Pilaf Trove Pack, right? There was, there's a bunch of insane packs in there that have just, like, really crazy stuff, right? They they gave battlefield currency, box space, equips, orbs. Like, there are things you can't easily acquire in the game that you could get from the Pilaf Trove. And a, a lot of it is box space. So, a lot of, like, global whales have way more box space than me from when, like, the um, <clears throat> Pilaf Trove was accidentally reset. And it, it was, you know, sort of fixed or rectified. To where you couldn't purchase those duplicate um, peel off trove packs, <clears throat> but it, it's like they weren't going to take away the stuff from people that already bought it multiple times after, so they kept it right. So I'm sitting here at twenty nine sixty box space, you know, like Garash. I, I, I think Garash has got like three hundred more box space than me or something. Like I, I'd, I'd have to ask him what he's at, but I think Garash is at like thirty two something or maybe thirty three something, and I'm still here at twenty nine sixty. So. My new agenda um, is actually, I'm just, uh, maybe once a day I will have to tweet Dokkan and say, um, increase box space. I, your boy needs box space, Dokkan. 
uh, if I'm going to accomplish my goal of number one highest power level, that's not going to be good enough. It's not. So that that is the new conundrum that I've got going for me right now. Um, all right, let, let's just jump in. So the the stage I've been using um, in terms of link leveling uh, has not changed. I really have fallen in love with this stage. Uh, thirty one four right here. I found it to be quite good. Um, I do like this stage quite a bit. Now, one strategy I've been using for link leveling. Now, don't you guys copy this now? Um, in particular, for Earthbred fighters. I, actually, I think I've already talked about this on video, but um, I, I right now I'm just firing through all my Earthbred fighter uh, category characters because Yamcha is the best link leveling character um, in Dokkan history. Because if Yamcha has a full Earthbred fighter rotation. Yamcha can use his um, active uh, right away, which <clears throat> in a quest mode stage means Yamcha is instantly killing the enemy, right? It, 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 it's kind of the same thing why Piccolo Jr. is so good in World Tournament, where it's like, you know, like the, the fight is not even starting and you just fire off an active skill and it's done, right? So, like, we're going to see it right here. I mean, that first rotation, right, at, at this point, I'm not link leveling good characters anymore, right? Like, we're, we're not coming in here... <clears throat> with high-powered LRs and stuff like that. I'm link leveling, like, unawakened, like, SRs and shit. Like, like that's the, the type, the quality of character I'm link leveling. So, by running this Earthbred Fighter setup, full Earthbred Fighters that Yamcha is always getting his active skill, like, Yamcha just sweeps through this stage so fast. Um, because of the fact that I'm now at the point where I'm link leveling so many very weak or inept characters... It can take a long time. Like, if I would do just, like, a normal setup... One problem with link leveling... Some people will know what I'm talking about. The the stupid auto-friend bullshit... I really wish they would update what, what, however it gauges shit. Because it loves to give you tech Vegito Blue. Even though his leader skill is not... Because the how conditional it is, right? Um, you have to have <clears throat> one of every super class typing... And, you know, it, it doesn't buff. At, like, it, it's such a bad leader skill. But for some reason, like, the, the Dokkan, like, friend algorithm, the auto friend leader, gives you easy attack Vegito Blue all the time. So, because of that, it's like I, I've made care to build my link level team in a certain way so that it doesn't auto wreck. Because I'm not... <clears throat> dude, there's no way. Like, I, I want to just hit retry and get to our next link level run. I'm not trying to, like, all right, like, let's manually click off that. And you have to understand, I mean, Dokkan, it does feel like as time goes on, the loading gets even worse, right? Like, the loading is always worse. I'm not interested in doing 50 clicks just to switch the friend lead, right? Because, okay, so it's like, here, we press the button, we load, boom, we're jumping right in. At, you know, I've got the team built so that it's always giving me Yamchas. Yeah, perfect, right here. <clears throat> So the fight starts, Yamcha's in the first rotation, um, and then he's just going to go ahead and mow down these guys, right? And then, of course, it is helpful that uh, friend leaders will never be in slot 7, so we always know that we've got Yamcha on turn 1 or turn 2. Chances are pretty good that he's going to be on turn 1, and then he's going to, again, just go ahead and disintegrate um, the enemy. So, so this is how I've been link leveling. The other thing that's really good about this is that... The Earthbred Fighter category is... Is it the biggest category? It probably is, right? Earthbred Fighter is probably actually the largest category. Can I quickly check this before this link level run gets finished? I imagine it is. What would be competing with it? Uh, Pure Saiyan? Uh, Goku Family? That's... Yeah, I, I, I would think Earthbred Fighter is the biggest category potentially by... Far. I don't I don't have a number specifically for all the characters, but Earthbred Fighter should be the large because it's got every, you know every Goku, Gohan, Trunks, uh, Piccolo. Like it's like we've got a lot of characters in there. Um, I would imagine Earthbred Fighter is is the biggest, um, and then like Pure Saiyan, Goku Family, they're up there as well. Is there some other category that's just like going over my head right now? Um, because it's like something like Gifted Warrior would have a lot of characters, but not quite that many. Turtle School has a lot, but it wouldn't have as many. Because most of Turtle School is just on Earthbred Fighter plus other characters, so that's definitely not going to be it. 
something like Time Traveler wouldn't have the most. Time Traveler's got a lot, but it's obviously not the most. Battle of Fate has... A, yeah, I, I think Earthbred Fighter is the biggest category in the game. So, basically, I'm trying to take advantage of Link leveling all these Earthbred Fighter category characters right now. Of Like, depending upon the 200% leader skill and stuff like that, it'll give me Yamcha over the Tech 23rd World Tournament Goku, who, of course, is not as good of a Link level character because he has to actually attack, whereas Yamcha does, like, before the, you know, you're not even getting orbs, you're not doing anything, Yamcha just instantly kills. I'm just trying to get as many Link level runs in as possible, while the game is still recommending me Yamcha friends, which allows for very fast and easy Link leveling um, using an Earthbred Fighter team. So, there you go. Uh, keeping you guys up to date on my power level grind. Oh, I didn't even look at my power level. It's like, uh, I'm at, I'm at 13... Point two, like thirteen million two hundred thousand, um, like right around there. Obviously, Link Love, um, World Tournament. Like I I'm recording this pretty recently after World Tournament finished, so, um, I you know have not been Link leveling for a couple of days here. Actually, I gotta remember to awaken Future Gohan. Uh, I, I look at me, I'm fumbling. I, I need to awaken Future Gohan and get him on my uh, Link level team. I'm 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 a Muppet. It's okay, you got. It's okay, it's official. You guys could call me a Muppet. I have fallen off. It is a fact. So let me know what you guys think. 1800 link level 10 units uh we will continue the grind uh thanks guys for watching and i'll catch y'all next time